What is up guys, welcome back to another Arena of Valor video and today we will be taking a look at the brand new hero Alain uh, which is going to be released quite soon on all our servers. Um, he is going to be part of that uh, Sword Art Online collaboration which a lot of you guys are looking forward to. Uh, he is going to receive that Kirito skin and um, yeah, I'm going to explain all his abilities. He's also known as Dragonfly before I think they changed his name to Alain. So um, yeah. It's gonna be super cool, especially that Kirito skin. So let's get right into the abilities. Uh, we are on the Vietnamese test server as always. And um, yeah, his passive is super important. It's what he is all about. Um, he doesn't have normal auto attacks. He, is, um, he has very special auto attacks and they really depend on this passive. You can see he has four stacks of his passive and each auto attack will be different, okay? So first of all, the first three auto attacks will always dash towards the enemy a little bit, as you can see here, and the fourth one won't. And um, all of them have different types of damage. The first two deal physical and magic damage, the third one deals a little bit more magic damage, and then the fourth one deals true damage, okay? So that is gonna be super important. Now for his first ability, that's gonna be his bread and butter. This is what you are gonna focus the whole build and everything around and oh, by the way I showed you at the start the build that I think is gonna be used when he is released because I know on some servers he is releasing pretty soon and um, yeah you saw right there the first ability the more stacks you have the better it will get but it's essentially just some strikes in front of him with a very low cooldown okay so let's say we have one stack now it is gonna strike three times let's say we have two stacks um, and he's gonna strike a couple more times, I think that was 5, and if you are at 3 and 4 stacks, it just strikes a lot of times, and in the end it finishes with an AoE, with a huge AoE strike, similar to Yena's S1 uh, finishing blow thing, you know, the similar range, and you can aim it actually, okay, so I will try to show you, I can actually, you can stack it without attacking anything, so you can see here, I'm gonna aim like this, I'm gonna pull my joystick to the bottom, and he turns around and strikes there, okay? Now his S2, you already saw right now, is just a dash, it has two uh, charges, and whenever it hits an enemy, uh, it actually roots them for some time. And um, then we have his ult, which again is super interesting, it is really cool. You can, um, I will show you right as this Tulin comes back to lane, and the build is gonna be really interesting, okay? His attack speed is not affected by uh, attack speed items you purchase or by arcana or anything instead you gain per one percent attack speed you gain one uh, you gain two additional attack damage okay i'm gonna try to kill them here and show you this kit and now we use the ult and beautiful i think we can kill him here beautiful let's dash out of range here they killed the xenial beautiful anyway you saw the ult there you can lock onto the enemy you disappear so you have a lot of outplay potential because you can uh, dodge skill shots and everything with that ultimate and then you disappear for a couple seconds you can see there the finishing blow does a ton of true damage and then um, yeah you disappear for like two seconds there lock onto the enemy when you land onto the enemy you deal damage to them you deal damage to everyone in the range i believe it is true damage um it seems like it is true damage so it's a ton of damage guys and you also gain a huge shield, okay? Now, you can also use it on allies. If you use it on allies, they actually get a move speed buff. Also, you slow the enemies in that area. Um, if you use it on allies, like right here, they get a move speed buff. He has a little move speed buff. And um, in the, I'm not sure if it's bugged on the test server, but I saw some translations. Now, I don't know how uh, real those translations are, but I saw a translation that it says it shields your allies. Um, which I'm not sure about, maybe they mis-translated um, it, because I know that it has a special interaction with Butterfly, because of course Butterfly is gonna get that Asuna skin, and uh, Kirito and Asuna are a couple, if you haven't watched that god-awful anime, if I may say so, Sora Online, you know, those first, those first 12 episodes, absolute masterpiece, everything past that, absolute garbage, so hey, what can I say? Anyway, um, yeah, they are a couple, so they will have some special interactions. So whenever he ults onto the um, Asuna or just onto Butterfly, 
Uh, she is going to be CC immune during that time. So that's going to be pretty fun to see. He is going to be a side laner. I don't think he is going to uh, be able to jungle pretty well because you want that flicker, you know. You want to be able to reposition that uh, first ability as you saw me do it a couple times. You saw I... Um, there we go. I uh, rooted him there, which is going to help you keep the enemies in that range. Now we do this and we finish him off with the first ability. It is a really cool hero, as you guys can see. It is going to be a lot of fun to play. It is all about those auto attacks. A lot of, a lot of um, AOV players are huge fans of these warrior type heroes. So this is, this is a very exciting uh, release, especially coupled with that Kirito skin. I hope it's not going to be too heavy on our wallets, guys, but um, it probably is. There we go. Also, I completely forgot to mention that he also heals a ton with this first ability. The more stacks he has, the more he's going to heal with it. Um, I think starting at 3 and 4. So you want to always use it with 4 stacks. Um, you want to um, wanna build a lot of health because it's a percentage health heal. Uh, as I said, attack speed is not too useful on him, so you don't really want to build that slick sting, you don't want to build any of these, you just want to build Clavis Sancti, because it's gonna work on your first ability and on your auto attacks, it's gonna improve your true damage because it can crit, so that is really juicy guys, that is of course gonna be super strong, and um, yeah, then you just want to go for a lot of cooldown reduction in my opinion, and tanky stats, okay? So um, yeah, I'm going for a lot of, you might go instead of cooldown reduction, you can see here, we just do so much damage, guys. And I'm not even critting that much because I do not have um, crit chance arcana on this. You would have 41%, so that's why I bought this now to uh, emulate the correct arcana setup, which you will have on your server, of course. But this is the test server, so I don't really, I can't really choose too much. But um, yeah, you can see we are um, super strong. I, I'm gonna, I might sell, I'm gonna sell some of these items just so we can emulate how it would feel when I'm not too uh, fed, you know. I'm gonna try to get a fight here against, maybe go top lane again, try to 1v2 them and see um, how strong it is, but we are already a little bit ahead in levels and stuff. You know, these test games are always a little bit clown. See, I, I shield him. I not shield him, but I, move, I give him movement speed so he gets away. And here you always wanna use it with four stacks, guys. And then you can flicker to um, connect the last attack and um, yeah, it, it does it does a ton of damage as you guys can see um, and yeah 41% crit chance is gonna be enough then cooldown reduction and then you might go for uh, Fenrir's you know if you want to just burst hard but uh, you can see you really want to use that first ability when you have four stacks and um, then it's super juicy heals you a ton and yeah the enchantment just really fit him well as well because we have that yellow little enchantment that gives us hybrid pierce. So um, yeah, this hero is getting released in like a month in EU uh, NA, but on other servers, um, on Vietnam and stuff, on Indonesia, he is releasing very, very soon with that um, Kirito skin already. So that is gonna be, there we go, we can kill him and you can just jump out um, to dodge the last tower shot. I mean, we wouldn't have died, but I'm just trying to demonstrate how hard you can outplay with this ult. And I also really love the cooldown reduction because this ult has such a low cooldown, guys. Look at this. This seems really, really strong. You will definitely be able to use this, that ult two times during a team fight because you are going to be super tanky as well. Let's see here. You can see the heal is coming through with that enchantment, with the first ability heal. And it is just insane, guys. Look at this. It is just absolutely insane. <laughs> this hero is gonna be super strong. Of course, the Shadow Blade is getting buffed very soon as well, this enchantment. And there's two dashes on him. And he gets a, he gets the Shadow Blade every time he uses his auto attack as well, because it's a little dash. So guys, the synergy is gonna be off the charts with this enchantment setup, with this build. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to him. I am just gonna quickly finish this game now. I pretty much explained everything. Um, this build, as I said, you can just copy it. A lot of, I, I didn't just uh, think of it myself. I checked out some Asian YouTubers like Sean, who already um, uploaded builds and stuff on this hero. It is not released yet, but they have 
decent ping in ranked games in on the test server so they can actually try him out properly instead of like me where I have to play these bot games and you can see you can cancel your first ability with all with your s2 or your ultimate so you're not just gonna be a sitting duck because you can't cancel it by walking right I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna just get three stacks and uh, now we use it and you I can't walk but I can cancel it by using my first second ability so it's a really smooth hero and um, yeah gonna be super exciting of course with that Sora online collaboration listen guys it is a uh, listen guys it is a lot of you guys are clowning me for saying Sora online is bad but listen man Sora online I was sitting through the entirety of gun gale online okay that was so bad I was sitting through it okay every week I was waiting for a new episode and I didn't enjoy it at all but I watched it because I thought maybe it will get better. I love me some Kirito, I love me some Asuna, you know? So um, I, I sat through that, but listen, at some point you just you just are way too um, disappointed. But the first 12 episodes, if you haven't watched them yet, check them out. It's really good. It's really, really good. And um, yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this, hope it helped a little bit. As I said, just copy this build um, if you don't know what to do with this hero when he's first released. And then, then probably some other builds, um, like for example, the first ability also applies Fafnir's, so that might become like a good build, but we, we're not sure yet. But when a true damage is able to crit, you just want to go crit chance, right? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave a like, um, subscribe, and I will see you guys the next time. Peace out boys, bye bye.